today guys so this is a bit of a different episode well basically i have a couple of options and i want to run through some flathead gear for all of you beginner flathead fishermen i'm pretty much a beginner like i i have budget ish gear but i want to run through what you should use so firstly i just want to announce well not announce but say so I won't be able to get any fishing done this weekend because of co coronavirus lockdown. I have some videos planned like they've already been recorded. I have one fishing now an hour, one fishing uh, me tongue and then I have a couple of others like one fishing a different spot that I don't really like to say because it's one of my secret spots but they're basically just angling for flathead at all three times but yeah so let's get into the gear so firstly this is my current light setup it's not the best light setup if you're wondering what this plastic is that just there it's got a uh, jig head it's quarter ounce I don't know where it's from I think I think that it would be Z-Man, but I could be wrong. Uh, it's got this really awesome lure, great action, great everything. It's from a guy named Troy Sparks. He's an Aussie guy, and his lures are awesome. So I'll link him in the description because they're pretty good to pick up. They're about a dollar each, if I'm correct, but... Anyways, continuing on, the reason I'm using a one fourth jig head is because where I fish in the sea, it's 14 and a half meters deep when I go for flathead. So, quarter ounce, you need to be able to get down there. If you were fishing in estuary, you'd want to go with um, one eighth of an ounce. So, this rod here, I'll take a photo and display it on the screen. It is. I'll read it out for you. So that's what it says. So it's a Manic. Uh, this is a Savage Gear. I got a combo for 80 bucks plus a heap of lures. It was like a steal. It's an awesome, awesome combo. So Manic. So Savage Gear Manic. Seven foot spin. So it's 213 centimeters. Two to four kilos. And it costs 2 to 10 grams. And it's a two piece. So it's a really nice rod. And it's nice and little. In the talk of it's not one of the massive like 9 or 10 foot rods. And it's, yeah, it's very versatile in the fact you can do squid jigging with it. You can do flathead fishing. Fishing up in the mangroves for like mangrove jack or small trevelyan stuff. And yeah, so it's a nice little combo. And I am upgrading currently and I've got some awesome, awesome gear here. So I got the reel today. It's, oh, you would have heard of the reel. It is a TD Soul 3 2500. And it's about $400. And I'm like, no way I'm going to pay that much for a reel. So I got, I reckon, nearly the next best thing. It was $99 a BCF. And it is this. It's awesome. I'll read it out for you. It is a Daiwa as I think it's a Daiwa as LT... Uh, 2,500. Sorry, I was having a bit of a brain fart because I haven't really been paying too much attention to ladder fishing until recently, but in all awesome, like I haven't been paying attention to sizes on fishing rooms and fishing. Yeah, so that's the reel. I'm currently trying to hook the line back up, which is proving to be a big pest. Oh. I 
I'll cut back when I'm finished doing this. Right, so I'm done. I'll show you the box quickly. That's what it came in. So this reel is awesome. I love it. I like how it has the big handle instead of the little one like on this one. It's got that little handle so you have to sort of grip it like that. Whereas on the end you can just go like that if you, if you really want to. I think that that's really good. I think that the ad is an awesome combo and you might be wondering what braid is this? Well, this is 10 pound Island Blue J braid. It's pretty good braid. I think it was 40 bucks. So that brings the reels total up to 140 bucks, and I think that it's relatively cheap for the quality of this reel. I think it's a really nice reel. If you are like really just starting out, like just just getting into the hobby, get a Shimano Sienna combo, or get an Abu Garcia Veritas. Those two combos are like awesome for their amount of money like they're absolutely amazing combos for their amount of money that's what i started off on my other light setup was originally just a sienna combo but then i snapped the rod um on a bad cast so yeah it's pretty tough but that's the real um gonna get a run and I'll show you that off when I got it. So now talking about just lures and that flathead fishing. Firstly, just get some one eighth and one twelfth jig heads in the size two hook from BCF Zoom in. So one eighth or one twelfth ounce and then a a size two hook. It's just the most versatile. I don't have any in the house. I have it in the shed, but I'm not gonna bother to go out. And then, here's what you wanna get. You wanna get full flat head, and Brim would bite this too. Two and a half inch grubs in motor oil. Motor oil's just the best color. If you can't get motor oil, uh, bloodworm's pretty good, but motor oil or bloodworm in the grubs, then you want, for slim swims, I haven't fished with slim swims, I'm going to buy some soon, you want about 2.5 to 2.75 on slim swims, and they will be in motor oil or bloodworm again. And now, for, you know, you're, re you're relatively big, um, flatty, you want to use 3-inch motor oil um, paddle tails. So those are what I'd recommend for your bigger species of flatties up north. And I would also recommend picking up some lures from a uh, trace box or you could do Keytech. Keytech's an awesome brand. Two inch Keytech Easy Shiners are very good. I don't fish them, like I don't have any yet. I will get some. And now let's get on to what I, some other stuff I got to do. Vibes. Vibes are a very tricky topic. What I have here is basically all they had if you want a vibe if you want a just a vibe that i know works because i've watched you know people use it N so it's nomad vibes in chartreuse orange bellied so it's chartreuse with an orange belly and then a and 75 millimeters in size so i'll say that again and i'll show it on screen Orange 
Belly, Chartreuse, 75 millimeter, Nomad vibes. Now, the one that I got today, this is just for a flick, but um, this is what I got Berkeley Shimmer Fork, an orange crush, 65 millimeters. Now, I think that, like, I think that the Nomad vibes would be better, but if you're fishing a little, you know, I reckon that that's perfect. So, no, and then this is just mangrove jack. You catch anything on these. Just Savage Gear, um, 3D, uh, shrimp, like... They're one of the most versatile lures and they have really nice action because I've used them before. It would catch anything on it, seriously. From mangrove jack and barramundi to big brim. It's crazy. But um, those are the lures that I can recommend for now. I'm not really that confident in lures. Uh, Daiwa Double Clutch. That's just an obvious answer. Daiwa Double Clutch. Any size, it doesn't really matter. So that's the reel. I'll come out with a rod video. But for now, all I can really recommend is the Manic 2-4 to four Kilo Savage Gear. But I just want to say thank you for listening and just putting up with my voice, really. Just putting up with me being young. But I hope you enjoy the tips and I hope that you found them fascinating and found them useful. So I'd say that in recap, the reel that you want, if you don't want to spend 400 bucks on a TD Soul, is you want it, or a Stratic, is an ad, 2,500, preferably 3,000. And then the rod, I'm really just looking at now, so I can't give you any tips about the rod. Braid, just J Braid. There's no other brand. Just get J Braid, Daiwa J Braid. It's just the best. And if you're not confident in spooling, get it spooled by BCF. So that's all I want to say for now. Those are the two lures I'll recommend. I'll just put them on screen for a second. Alright, and then this is a choice box lure, just for a recap. Anyways, I hope you found it interesting watching this. And make sure to remember the tips because they could be useful. Anyways, bye.